And welcome back everybody, I'm Scott here with the Bricks on the Review and today we have set number 76909, the Mercedes AMG F1 W12 E Performance and the Mercedes AMG Project 1 coming straight at ya. Let's check it out. For $34.99 in American dollars or $44.99 in European dollars, you get a Wombo combo with both wonderful Mercedes collections from the AMG. And we have our Formula One, which is really cool, and we have our Project One, which is the hypercar in that site. But for $34.99, you also get a wild collection of extra parts and about 56 labels, which are actually kind of uh, useful, I guess. They're not um, a pain stake in the ass, but it's 56. It's split in two, so you can't really complain. But when I saw 56, boy, did I hate that. Anyway, back to sets. And for the price of $34.99, you really can't go wrong. You get really two amazing sets. Well, we'll say this. I think this is amazing. I think this is an okay. It's a basic space to be champion, which is kind of sad because this is actually, I think, performance-wise, the cooler car. F1 cars are pretty cool. Formula 1s are. I didn't look much detail into this one. But I did more detail into this one. I think this one's actually kind of more standout-ish. But build-wise, that one's pretty fun. For, so for $34.99, too many figures, a bunch of extra pieces, and a really decent build experience, it's worth the bang for the buck, especially for Wombo Combo Pack for Speed Champions. Let's talk about that build experience. Let's start with the cooler one, the Formula One. Okay, starting off with the Formula One, you actually have a very, very, very awesome build experience. This is my first Formula One car I ever built for Speed Champions. So obviously when you build these things, you do not have a normal standard chassis that all Speed Champion sets have. Instead, you make it all by yourself, which is pretty much your foundation. I think the weakest part is actually the front spoiler, which I do not really care for. It is kind of wonky easy to break but they try their best on that as they could you do have quite a lot of stickers on here and not a lot of printed pieces you just have a printed logo on the front for the mercedes and you have printed piece for the headstock right here you have this nice two piece that sits around the cockpit which i kind of bent out of shape but you do get two extra ones so you get this one another one that worked out pretty well for the actual steering wheel you get this very wonderful game controller right there because you know f1 controllers are steering wheels are like this they're square shape with all the command buttons on there. This one doesn't have a standard one, so you will get a game controller for that one, which is pretty cool. No printed or any stickers for that, which I thought was kind of standoffish. And you do have some wonderful detailings for the suspension systems, which I actually do like that a lot. The build itself was not that complicated. A lot of small pieces, but it's Speed Champion, so you do get a lot of bang for your buck. But obviously, it's going to be a lot of pieces just because they want to make as much detail as they can for the scale of this car using all the small pieces they can. Again, you're getting almost a Ultimate Collector's build, a very, you know, advanced advanced build for a little set and I think for anybody that likes building Legos wants a challenge and wants something really cool then you always get to be champion that's what you get okay so you do get some extra pieces for this one as well because this is number 44 but they also give you the option to change it to the other team driver for 77 which also gives you another plate right here it is two by two tile which goes fantastically right here in the front you also have these two printed for the headrest I said already and you get to change this out this piece right here this uh, one by two with the stud on the top you get that and actually that goes into yellow for the other one i guess it's different eight i think the coolest thing are the f1's wheels i mean look at that that's awesome so how they do this pretty much is this is just a hubcap which pops right onto the standard wheel and i think that is just a phenomenal printed piece there's only about two printed pieces this entire set well sorry three it's going to be the headrest the emblem here and it's going to be these uh hubcaps which I really really enjoy and it really does capture the F1 wheel a lot also you get the nice balding one for better contact which is awesome as well it rules for all those that are concerned and actually you will be amazed by this but the spoiler the spoiler here spoiler is actually pretty well done it's fantastically a one whole piece that you use add the sides onto it which is normal uh, not normal sorry first three champions usually you have to make your own spoiler which is said differently for the AM project, AMG Project 1, which we'll get into in a second. But yes, this is a fantastic build. I really, and really enjoyed this. It is a little bit too much black for me because I do like a little different in color, but you know, th that red does stick out a little bit and I do like the blue on the black. And the stickers weren't that bad. You do get annoying with this sticker right here, and especially this one on the side is kind of a pain in the ass to get in there. I did raw dog these. I didn't use a brick separator to help me put the labels on. So I do think it turned out pretty well. But yeah, that's it for the actual F1 pretty good set you do get one minifigure but i'll get into that when we talk about minifigures towards the end of the video because i already jumped the gun and it's too late to do this now on to the next one and here she is the amg project one now this is a very basic 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 build when it comes to 
actual speed champions because it starts off with the back and then it ends with the front. The front is more interesting and complicated than the back was. I found more pleasure building that than I did the end of it. But the back looks fantastic. Look how they use these tile plates here to really kind of shape out the aerodynamics of this of this wonderful hypercar. A thousand horsepower, by the way, top speed of 305 kilometers per hour. I think it said. I don't know if that relates in American. Um, I think fast. <laughs> we'll go with that. Um, now that uh, oh, I forgot to say that Formula One is a W12. So I'm guessing that means it's a 12, W12 engine. Um, that's what it says in the box. I'm assuming that's what it means. I do not know what this has. I'll put some facts in there. Maybe will, maybe I won't. But anyway, yeah, so overall, the Lego set is pretty solid. You do use a car chassis as you normally do for all these speed champion sets. Has the normal wheels on it. You do have your normal basic rims on there. Uh, nothing really special. I like the side skirts on here. The, um, they are a little more constructed. They're not one piece, which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. I do like them, like the way it looks. I love this fin right here, which is also stickered on there the AMG fin that's really awesome for that back just to cut through the air that's awesome you do get some printed pieces you get a printed grill plate with the AMG logo you do get some printed headlights which is awesome and you get a printed basic standard window shield and then over here is the cockpit itself nothing really special about it you get a little sticker piece which I have no fucking clue what's on that sticker and you get a basic steering wheel and then you get your basic module in the middle and then that's it for seats really Nothing special about it. I was kind of displeased with that. More detail in the cockpit like they usually do. Your figure will fit there perfectly. No real reason to complain about it. I do love these scoops on the hood. I think that's awesome. They use the fenders, or as I know them, as the turrets from the old Clone Wars battle packs. They use those. They double layer them for the awesome looking scoops on the air intakes over here for the hood. So that's really cool. And... Um, I love that amount of detail. Like I said, all the exciting parts comes in the front end for the actual uh, the open front diffuser, for the actual hood, and for just the scoops. I really enjoyed this part. This building half, this is great. This was boring, but you do get a nice, decent, uh, basic building experience with this as well. And it's soft. It's sorry. And it's sturdy. It's strong. It can hold the stand. Very low. It's very fat. It looks really awesome. I think it does a pretty good job of looking just like the Project One car itself. The only complaint I can really say, besides being kind of boring, is this right here. I don't like the way the spoiler is done. I do think these plates are a little bit too, these clip plates are a little bit too low. So as you can see, it comes off at an angle. And it's very easy to come off and not my favorite thing to do. I don't think that was done well. And maybe I just built it wrong. As you can see, I'm really struggling to get this back on there. Ugh. Yeah, maybe I just built it wrong. I don't know. I, but I don't like this. I think it looks horrible. And it's probably the weakest part of the whole set. Labeling-wise, sorry, sticker, stickering-wise, it's not that bad. That kind of reminds me of those um, those water cups, that 90s water cups. I don't know if you guys remember those. But uh, yeah, stickering wasn't that bad. It's actually kind of easy. And it's a pretty solid set. Uh, all around, it's a basic speed champion set. All right, that's it for this. Let's look at the minifigures. And last here, we have the minifigures for the sets. Here we have for the AMG Project 1. Going first up, we have a lady. And the lady is actually kind of cool. She does come with a wonderful hairpiece uh, hat infused or molded hairpiece, which I really kind of enjoy. I think this looks better than the Indiana Jones ones we had this year. Um, nothing else on the back end. You have a normal little face lady print for the face, which is about it, but the back of the head is nothing else, and you can slide this on that. She also has a helmet, which goes on just like so, just like that with the toenail right there, and then that's pretty much it for her on the head piece. It's gone. All right, so for the head piece. And then she comes with your standard uh, Lego, uh, you know, universal tool. She has printing for the AMG sport jacket on the front, nice little zipper there, and on the back you have AMG, nothing on the legs. Nothing really spectacular, comes in lovely Lego yellow, but it is nice to have her as an addition to the set. So, on with her, and here comes the next one. So here comes the F1 himself. He does have a hairpiece, which when we put it on, fantastic, look at that, and it looks awesome. Don't know if he's supposed to be the actual driver or not, that's just what they gave him. Nothing on the back, he is single printed on the face where he has that nice smirk. I like, I go for the Patronus team, which I think is a Harry Potter spell, not sure. And then on the rest of the print for the body, you have a nice F1 racing suit. Um, not really sure we actually recall that, but yes, that's what you have. You have some lovely printing on that. You get the Sport logo, you get the AMG logo, you get the Mercedes logo, and then on the back side you get the same thing as well. And you get the Puma. It's an official Puma suit. If I can get that zoom in. Oh, look at that. Puma. It's fantastic. And that's it. You know, printing on the back or on the legs or on the arms or anything like that, you just have it on the front end. That's it. Pretty dope. I like that 5 o'clock shadow. I like the smirk. I like the hair a lot. 
It's actually kind of cool. Don't like the receding hairline it gives out though. Rather put the helmet on and party hard with that. And that's pretty much it for the minifigures. And well, everybody, that is 76909, the Mercedes AMG F1 W12 E Performance, and the Mercedes AMG Project 1 with 564 pieces, $34.99 to boy. Pretty good set. Good Wombo combo, especially for Speed Champion fans. And if you're a fan of Mercedes, you also get two lovely little things here. I really, 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 really enjoy this F1 Formula car. I think it's awesome. And the AMG Project 1 is I hate nothing really spectacular, but you do get a nice little recreation of this wonderful hyper car. Many figures are all right. Everything else is pretty good. A lot of bang for your buck. Um, Speed Champion, go buy it. It's really easy, and it's not being... Um, it's still out there today. You can get it for $34.99. That's all I can say pretty much about this set. Thank you for watching, as always. Uh, like and subscribe if, if you enjoy the video. I really appreciate all the support you give me, um, especially for the last videos I made. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And until next time, thanks.